Um, well, Michael Mason, um, I'm 60 minus uh, two weeks, 60 in, in two weeks' time. Um, I'm a coach, uh, pretty much coach an awful lot of things, uh, ski coach, strength and conditioning, martial arts, worked as a bodyguard for a number of years. And, uh, and the car- in terms of coming into the carnivore diet, um, I mean, I've been pretty much eating this way, a high protein animal based diet for, you know, more than 30 years. Um, so I never really got into, it was, it was just, uh, in, in evolving, let's say a new nutritional experience. Um, so I never really got into doing something else. And then I became a carnivore, if that makes sense. Um, actually, before we get to the questions, I wanted to invite Phil and Ben just to talk about their upcoming, I wouldn't say project, project but um, upcoming talk, seminar, presentation, conference, exhibition in um, the next month or so. So if Ben, if you want to leave and talk about that. Yeah, uh, 20th, uh, Saturday, the 20th of January. So it's in just under three weeks time. We've got a get together. We're, we're calling War on Health. So it's a one day conference. And um Phil and I are going to be speaking there. Uh, Dr. Sarah Pugh, Dr. Rachel Brown, Dr. Ahmed Malik uh, is going to be there as well. And uh, Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride will be joining us via video link um, from wherever she is. So, yeah, one day event um, should be a lot of fun. And it's in the it's probably district as well. So, yeah, not not far from me. Might be, might be jolly cold, but uh, that, that's not going to hurt you too much so yeah and, and and by the way it's not streamed it's not recorded it's not going to be online it's not going to be anywhere um it's just for um people people who are in the room okay so what's what's the subject so we, we're going to be looking at why the so-called healthcare system may be set up let's say not in in the interests of health healthcare but more importantly what can we do about it so we want people to go away from that day with some very very real practical advice that they can put into action the following day um to help themselves and their families and we're going to have uh, a, a carnival lunch and a carnival banquet after the event as well um there's also a pre-event dinner the night before which is also carnival at a local pub uh, but there's only six places or so left on that. So if you want to know more, type in waronhealth.uk into your browser. And, uh, or there you go. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan's put the, uh, the link on there as well. That will also go to the same place. So anyway, Andy828, are EAAs a useful supplement to enhance muscle protein synthesis? Or are they just a marketing gimmick? I don't take anything. Um so I get enough from the amount of uh, meat that I eat. Um, I eat a high protein carnivore diet. So if let's say your diet isn't as um, it's not optimal, then it may be that there's a place for um, some of these um, you know supplements. But for, but for me, um, I don't take anything. The only thing that I do take, but I forget to take it. Um, is that I would take um, creatine um, every now and then, but I, 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 I sort of forget to take it. And, and I just think that eating enough meat for me uh, works very, very well. Yeah. Well, so what about you, Richard? Yeah. Com- um, if you are devoid of uh, animal proteins within your diet, I mean, the essential amino acids, they are, Indeed, what they say, they are essential, but these are easily obtained from diet. Um, Out of the essentials, we've got leucine, which is 10 times more anabolic. Uh, We need this to activate mTOR. We can activate mTOR directly with leucine. This is why we do not need carbohydrate and to elicit this response through IGF-1. We can do it direct through through, uh, leucine. This is why adequate protein is enough to... Uh, elicit that response and build muscle or increase muscle protein synthesis. Carbohydrate does not increase muscle protein synthesis at all, zero, um, contrary to popular belief. Uh, and I agree with Mike completely. It's if you are living a ketogenic carnivore lifestyle, heavily based from animal proteins, everything that you need, not just to survive, but thrive is found 
uh, naturally within your diet. Uh, at snap with the creatine, that's the only um, that's the only thing that I supplement with other, outside of like the electrolytes and things that I use. Um, leucine, if you were going to supplement with any, would be the one that I would suggest to supplement. That there is an argument there that we could supplement with leucine to further increase, but. Optimal activation is around three grams of leucine, and this is easily obtained through diet. So if, if you are struggling to elicit that response through diet, then leucine over the other essentials, I think, would be uh, would be prioritized. Um, HMB is the metabolite of leucine. Um, there is strong evidence to suggest that that may be more beneficial, but there's for every research paper to suggest that that could elicit that response, there's just as many to say that leucine is better. So eat your protein and save your money. I'm going to play devil's advocate because there are some people coming to this way of eating 30 years, you know, low calorie, calorie restricted, low fat, vegan, vegetarian, who are absolutely devoid of any nutrients, maybe for 30 years. And things like collagen, I think, you know, they could have a place. Creatine is definitely uh, one. And I don't think necessarily just for people that are training. I, I, I feel that they are a good bridge for people that are starting. And maybe they, they haven't got the right um, hunger cues. They're not, they're not adapted. They're not used to eating this amount of meat, for instance. So I think there is a place for supplements. I mean, even things like... Um, like I say, like collagen, for instance, if if you take collagen, and I'm just talking from people that I've coached, they've seen huge improvements in like joint pain and stuff like that. So um, I I understand why people ask about supplements. And I do think there will be people watching and think, well, well, yeah, but I took, you know, X, Y, Z, and it really helped me. So we're not saying that they're rubbish. But oh. what we're saying is if you eat enough, if once you start get, getting adapted and you're eating to satiety and you're eating really good quality nutrients, which is what the body has evolved to eat, it will thank you for it and you won't need to supplement. And if you flip it over, you know, whenever you see a veg vegetarian or vegan saying, I've got the perfect diet and they pan around their kitchen, there are supplements because they have to, you know, they, you know, B12 is, is obviously one that jumps out as, as one that you have to supplement with for a, a vegan vegan or vegetarian diet. So anyway, um, what tips, tricks, hacks do you use for cutting? Um, well, I'm not a I'm not a bodybuilder, uh, you know, you know, coach. Um, but if it, it's a it's a it's a simple sort of um, mathematical equation. If you want to lose, let's call it weight, then you need to eat less that you, than you're in ingesting. Um, so, if you want to, let's say, cut, you know, keep up the protein, cut out the crap, move more, move more in a in a more sort of focus, you know, in a, in a, you know, in a focus way. And if you're doing bodybuilding stuff, you you, you know, you 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 will be, um, but. You know, it, it's it's a, it's it's a simple you know it's as simple as that. You've got to t end up taking in less than you're than 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 you're using. I mean, I haven't found or haven't seen anyone coming up with, yeah, you can cut by eating more than your um, than your you know it, 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 it expelling. So again, it's the same it's the same thing. And and I'm speaking you know from someone who's you, you know I'm you know sixty, I can still maintain muscle. I can still drop if i have to you know if that's if if that's my focus but for me like the focus is just maintaining a high protein consumption um you know every day you know don't eat the crap and you won't put crap on i mean it's it, it, it the trouble is is that you know some of these answers are too simple people want they want something really really extravagant magical and complicated and the more complicated it is the more expensive it is and it's just comes down to sort of like basic, simple mathematics and eat less, move more. And I don't, you know, and, and again, I can get into, tr into, in, in, into, tr into trouble, you know, you know, with, with that. But if it's a specific thing, like as the question was cutting in a, in a, in a bodybuilding competition type sense, then ask all the bodybuilders out there and they will tell you. You know this, and and they seem to know what to do. They may be taking other things as well, 